All right, so now we have our 10-foot water-cooled MIG gun installed here. This is especially for aluminum. It has a special diffuser. So the way how you normally tighten this is your tip holder has to be tight so it doesn't come off. You want to snug down really good there. Then your tip should be kind of loose. So you want the tip holder to be tight, but you want the tip to be loose. Not loose, but like put the tip in hand tight and then just like snug it up just a little bit. This plastic diffuser spins on hand tight. You use tools on this, you will crack it. So this takes the same tips like a 26 or 36 gun, same nozzles like a 26 gun. If you do bench top work or stuff around the shop, the 10 foot lead gives you about 20 foot reach, 10 to the left, 10 to the right. It's a nice and light setup with the optional remote control here. You have all your adjustments all in one hand. You can work all day with a nice light gun fitting to tight spots. So let's see how that does for us welding some uh, quarter inch coupons. personal favorite is a 10 foot water cooled MIG gun. It gives me enough to reach everywhere, not too much where I have like coils like this on the floor where it doesn't feed right. It's, it's short enough, it's short enough to not give me any trouble, long enough to reach what I need to reach in 90% of the cases or better. It's lightweight, it stays cool to the touch, I just welded with it, I can touch this. I can't touch the nozzle maybe, yeah I can but even the neck, because the neck is water cooled, is cool to the touch. It's easy on me, less operator fatigue. It fits in small spots where big bulky push pull guns or spool guns don't fit. So to me, that's like the best of both worlds, the one to have. If you are well air cooled with a 26 series gun, your peak pulse currents are 300 amps on the Pro Pulse 220, about 350 on the Pro Pulse 300. You can handle that with an air cooled gun. If you want to run the larger wire diameter, 364 047 wire, your peak pulse currents are in the neighborhood of 600 amps. You need a gun that can handle that kind of amperage in order to deal with it. An air cooled gun you would just annihilate. That's why you need a water cooled MIG gun.